So, I heard that everyone was pretty sick of Eldrazi, so... Uh, not a single Eldrazi in my deck. I'm pretty excited. I'm not very excited, because the Eldrazi deck's great. I'm having fun. I don't know what everyone's problem is. But, whatever. Uh, I still like being on the side of trying to beat the people that are doing, like, the cool thing. So, we're gonna try that today. Uh, I took a page out of Patrick Chapin's book, his article last week. One of his many, many articles and many, many insights. Uh, I took some cool stuff from his proposed Grixis control list and merged it with my own. So, uh, this is a fairly classic Grixis control list from my side of things, but, uh... From looking at his article, he wanted to take it in a much different direction. Uh, he had four Liliana the Veils, multiple copies of Damnation, multiple Scars, Fast Lands, and I was not having it. I'm not about that life. Uh, if I want to play Jun deck, I'll play Jun deck. And this is a Grixis deck. I'm going to stick with my Mana Leaks. I think Mana Leak is great. Uh, I think more and more people are going to be moving away from Cavern of Souls, and if not, well, I guess we're in trouble. So, uh, yeah, pretty normal Grixis deck. You know, Seer Visions... Some discard spells, some jaces, uh, some mana leaks, snapcaster mage, lightning bolt, terminate, Golagon's command, and then we get to the cool stuff. Uh, so our discard is kind of flip flopped. We are we are more on the like I want to beat big, big spells instead of burn spells. So we have multiple thought seizes and less inquisitions. Uh, that might be kind of painful. We're about to see. I have an additional Lightning Bolt in Flame Slash, and that's good against uh, Thought Not Seer. Uh, also have a much bigger Colagon's Command Package, although awkwardly enough, I did cut the Thought Scours. So we'll see if that matters all that much. But uh, Chapman's idea of Main Deck Shriek Maw and Ingature to go with Colagon's Command is pretty nice. I like it. I think it's cool. Uh, downside to Shriek Maw doesn't do anything against Affinity. So. That is definitely bad times. Uh, I almost m went down to one copy, but it's so good against the Eldrazi deck that I wanted to keep both and see how it was. Uh, Ing Ingature kind of has the same problem where it's like not good against a lot of stuff, uh, especially if the Eldrazi decks are moving away from the colorless version and more towards the blue-red version. They have less artifacts, uh, you know, basically zero artifacts. So, yeah. And we still have Apia and Kirin Nalar. Uh, I do still like this card. Not necessarily against Edge Champion, which is what it was there for, Initially, but uh, just just like the the Scions and the Eldrazi Sky Spawners and the Blink Moth Nexuses and stuff like uh, P and Kieran just make a bunch of big bodies or not big bodies they make a bunch of bodies that are good against decks that are trying to go wide. So uh, I like the one P and Kieran. Uh, like I said, it's champion. Not that big of a deal anymore. Most people have them in their sideboards now because of how popular colorless creatures are. So. Uh, thankfully that problem is kind of gone, so now you just have to kill Master Rithyrium, which is pretty easy with all your Terminates and whatnot. Um, and then we have a Gurmag Angler, and this is, instead of Tassiger, uh, it's kind of rough, cause, you know, it costs 7 instead of 6, I think the format is faster, we're taking more damage from our Thought Seizes and stuff, uh, and we don't have Thought Scour, but we're, we're down from 3 Delve Spells to 1, which may or may not matter, I'm not sure, but I feel like it allows the angler to just be free, basically. Uh, you know, like, turn four is going to roll around, we're going to have this one mana 5-5. Five, five. And I think being able to trade with Reality Smasher is a big deal. So, uh, Tassiger, you know, you, you, like, you lose that point of power, which I think is huge, and then you gain this sort of, like, late-game inevitability thing. But for the most part, like, a lot of the cards in this deck just kind of go dead pretty quick, like Mana Leaks and the Discard Spells, so sometimes... Uh, Tasker is not really getting you all that much, even if you're activating its ability, but I do feel like in this new metagame, the games are a lot faster, and you won't necessarily have a lot of time to activate that ability, so we're going to go with the Dangler, see how it works out. Uh, last card, main deck damnation, boom. Kill all your creatures, and we'll see how this deck does. Uh, definitely going to be much worse against combo, but I do expect it to be much better against creature decks as a whole, so... Uh, that's kind of what modern is right now. A lot of affinity, infect, burn, and of course Eldrazi. So, uh, sideboard, a couple dispels, uh, good in blue mirrors, pretty reasonable against burn. Uh, Merc Lurker, I like this against most, like, fair aggressive decks, you know, like Wild Nacodle or Burn. Uh, against Eldrazi, they're hitting you in chunks of like 5 and, you know, 20. 
So gaining like maybe five life is not really a big deal for them because they just keep smashing you. So it's not like a burn deck where like, you know, every time you connect with this, it cuts off like two of their draw steps or whatever. Uh, a couple of Pithing Needles. These are just kind of like for messed up combo decks. Uh, this card is like pretty reasonable against Tron. Also good against Affinity. Uh, I'm not sure if we need help against Affinity, but maybe we do. Um, it's entirely possible, but Gristlebrand, things of that nature. Uh, basically, Pithing Needle, just like the go-to card for any scary combo deck. This, this could probably just be a, a one-of, actually. But I want to try it, and that's what we're going to do. That's why I have two Shriek Maws main. I want to try them. Uh, a couple Fulminator Mages. Uh, I am going to board these in against the Eldrazi deck. I don't think it is great against them, uh, but... You know, I think I think it's good enough. We'll actually see how many sideboard cards we have because we haven't actually. And by we, I mean me. I haven't actually looked at the numbers, so we'll see. Uh, is it Staticaster? Is a card that I should probably never leave home without, uh, at least for these blue red X decks. Uh, just good against Affinity, good against Infect, good against just like all sorts of like nonsense. Uh, card is great. Also consider just having one of these main deck and playing like the Thought Scours and just having like this kind of like weirdo raise dead engine with Kologon's Command. Kind of like a revert, reverse survival of the fittest, I guess. Uh, another copy of Inga Chewer. This is basically replacing the Vandal Blast that I used to play. Kind of does the same thing. Uh, Vandal Blast was good with uh, both Snapcaster Mage and Jace, whereas Inga Chewer is not. Uh, Vandal Blast also killed Etch Champion, but I don't think you have to really worry about that anymore, so that's good. And it just makes it so, you know, your Kologon's commands are even that much more effective, if if that's even possible. I mean, like, there are certainly cases where you need to double Shatter instead of Shatter and Shock against Affinity, but it's pretty rare. Uh, I have Miser's Gutshot, and just kind of kind of see, just <laughs> see if it's great or not, I don't know. Uh, this could actually just be another Static Caster, because it's kind of doing the same stuff, which is picking off smaller creatures. Uh, third copy of Shriek Maw, I think Shriek Maw Kologon's Command is... Is going to be pretty nice against the Eldrazi deck. Uh, hopefully, you know, our hand doesn't get shredded by Thought Knots here and whatnot. We'll see. Uh, a couple Kalidas. This is kind of my go-to against Burn now. I think this card's pretty tight. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, this card is probably good against things like Jund and uh, Malira Pod. Not Pod, but Malira Collected Company, whatever it is. And it just, it's got some nice light graveyard hosing. Uh, it does stop Arcbound Ravager, but I don't think I'm going to be bringing, bringing in this card against Affinity, but because it's 4 mana, it's slow, the lifelink is not great against them, and just because, I don't know, like stopping their Ravagers is not that big of a deal for me. I'm not willing to board in a 4 mana card to actually do that. Uh, other 4 mana cards, Damnation, kill all your stuff, uh, good against Creature Decks, in case you didn't know, and Tribute Hunger. So right now, it's looking like my deck just has a bunch of removal. And that's kind of awkward. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll play against some uh, some decks that aren't trying to kill us with creatures. And we're going to go to Cyber. And we're going to be like, man, I, I just got nothing. But, yeah, we'll see. Uh, you know, this is this is the first draft. It's entirely possible I just get crushed. Uh, but maybe I 5-0 and my deck is great. We'll see. And by my deck, I mean basically Chapin's deck. But, you know. <laughs>